Hello and welcome to the CJ4012 unboxing, flashing, and deployment video using Balena. Taking a look at the outside of the box, we have a photo of the device on the front and on the side lists some of the features of this unit. Mainly, it uses an NVIDIA Jensen Orin NX module with 16 gigabytes of RAM, and there's also a 128 gigabyte NVMe SSD already installed. So let's open it up and take a look. And inside we find some very nice seed branded packing material, underneath which is the device itself. Now it's about the size of an Intel NUC PC. C describes it as hand-sized, which I think is pretty accurate. And notice that there are mounting holes on the bottom if you wanted to mount this device to a wall or some other type of unit. And underneath the next layer of packing material, we have the AC adapter which in this case is a 12 volt, 5 amp transformer. One item of note is that the power cord is not included. You'll need to find a cord like the one on the left that also has the proper plug for the voltage in your locale. The top of this device pops off easily. It's uh, secured magnetically, which makes it very easy to access the inside and looking inside we can see the NVIDIA Jetson module and the uh, GPIO pins as well. Okay, we're going to flash Belena OS on the device. In the Belena Cloud dashboard, we'll go to the Fleets screen and create a new fleet. A fleet is a group of devices of the same architecture that are running the same release. We're only going to add one device here. So we'll give the fleet a unique name and then choose the device type, which will be the Seed J4012 and create the new fleet. Now that our fleet is created, we're going to add a device The Add New dialog box opens where we can select a number of options, including being able to add our Wi-Fi credentials at this point, if desired. We're just going to accept the defaults and follow the steps listed to the right. First though, we need to insert a USB stick into our computer so that we can flash it, minimum of 16 gigabytes. Once the stick has been inserted, we can just click the flash button. We recommend using Belena Etcher, but you could flash the stick with any suitable software. If using Belena, after the flashing is complete, it will validate the flash. And once that's complete and successful, it will let us know that the flash is done. But before we move on, we do need to also download a copy of the same Valena OS. So from the drop down menu in the lower right of the Add New dialog box, we'll select Download Valena OS and then download that file, which we'll need to put aside for later. So in addition to flashing that image to the USB stick, we'll also need a copy of that file as well. In order to flash the seed device, we're going to need to put it into recovery mode. Note the pins under the Jetson module. We're going to take a jumper wire and we're going to connect it to two of the pins so that they are shorted together. We're going to take the second pin from the right and connect it to the third pin from the right. So these two pins are right next to each other and we're going to jumper them together. This puts the device into what is known as recovery mode so it can be flashed.
To continue the flashing process, first we're going to take the USB stick that we flashed with the Lena OS and insert it into one of the USB ports on the device. Next, we'll need a USB-C to USB-A cable. Insert the USB-C end of the cable into the C device. The USB-A side of the cable will connect to your host PC. Now, connect an Ethernet cable to the J4012. And finally, apply power. You'll see the fan move momentarily, and also note the green LED will be glowing. Now that the device is powered up, Go to your host PC, which needs to be running Ubuntu, preferably version 20, either in a VM or as bare metal. In this example, we're using a VM. And now we enter a command to confirm that the seed device is in fact connected via USB to the host machine. Now we're going to unzip the Belena OS image that we downloaded earlier, the same one that's on the USB stick. We're going to use this software known as Jetson Flash to flash Belena OS onto the Seed J4012. Jetson Flash also supports a number of other Jetson boards. The full list of boards and instructions for each one are in the GitHub repository. We'll start by first cloning Jetson Flash to our host machine. We'll then change folders to go into Jetson Flash and then list the contents of the folder itself. Here we see the folder for the Orin NX, which we'll switch into as well. At this point, you should check to make sure you have Docker installed on your host machine by issuing the version command. If you don't have Docker installed, you'll need to do so at this time. Now run the build and run shell script, which builds the Docker container and then runs it. Note that it will take longer, likely in your example, if it hasn't been run before. Once it's finished, it will give us a prompt inside the Docker container. Switch to the directory shown if you're not already in that directory. Next, we'll run the script from inside the container that boots our kernel and loads the root file system on the USB stick. You'll need to provide the exact name of the OS image we unzipped before. I suggest copying and pasting that name. Once all of the parameters for the command have been formed, you can execute the script. You'll be asked to accept a licensing agreement from NVIDIA. At this point, the flashing process could take up to 15 minutes. When you see this message, the USB stick in the J4012 is flashing the onboard NVMe. Wait for the device to power off, at which point the fan will stop and the green LED will turn off. You can now remove the power, USB stick, Ethernet, and host PC connection to the CJ4012. It's also very important at this point to remove the jumper that put the device into recovery mode. Once the device is out of recovery mode, you can reconnect the Ethernet and then power up the device again. After a few minutes, the device should be visible in your Belena Cloud dashboard. We're now going to push a code release to the J4012 and verify its operation. 
go ahead and clone our J4012 PyTorch example repo. These next steps can be done in Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. We'll be using the Belena CLI, which is available for those platforms. Once we're in the repos folder, we'll issue the Belena push command via the CLI, which pushes the code to the Belena builders, where it will be compiled, built, turned into a release, and applied to every device in the fleet. Our example fleet includes the single J4012 that we just provisioned. You'll know that your code has been successfully compiled and built when our friendly unicorn mascot appears. The release will then be downloaded and started by all the devices in the fleet. We can confirm that by going to the Belena Cloud dashboard for the device that we just provisioned. You can see the PyTorch service status change to running. Now we know our release is ready to use. We can SSH into our container using the terminal in the lower right. We'll now follow the steps in the GitHub repo in the usage section to test that TensorRT is running correctly on the NVIDIA hardware and also accessing the GPU. We first compile the example this compilation process can actually take about 15 minutes. Once the compilation is complete, we're going to run the sample. You should see the GPU inference engine being built and run. If successful, it should display an inference and tell us it's passed, as seen here. That completes our demo of the Seed J4012. If you have any questions or comments, please see the description of this video for more contact information. Thanks for joining us.